Good morning. It is about 10 a.m. All dressed up today because it's our cousin Lauren's wedding. I haven't seen her in 10 years. She's marrying a gentleman named Tom. Never met before, so obviously I'm excited to meet him for the first time. Uh, and see some other members of the Holbrook clan, which will be one short after today because she's becoming Lauren Fisher. Alice, we're just Bye. making our way down to the tube right now. Brothers make it fun of me because I didn't bring a rain jacket. But I didn't have room for it in my luggage, so nothing I can do. See, this is what uh, TTC needs to invest in, to but I don't think they will because it apparently costs too much and it'll take too much time to put up. But they need this in the new stations for sure. Always important to fill up before a wedding on McDonald's. Platform 15. Looks like our train might actually be here. All set, time to board. Killing time. Already empty. Good so up. we're about an hour and a half early, hour 20 minutes. So we gotta kill time, we're gonna wander around. Nice place though. You gotta make it your own. stuck on his way up, I think. The wedding tables, we are under Running Man. Some names we recognize. There's Christmas tree. We're gonna cut it with a sword. That's awesome. Good to see you guys too. Cheers, cheers. To a long Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, to a belated reunion. All right, now we're making our way to the breakfast area. Oh, did you remember our table name? Running Man, Running Man. Well, now it seems like only yesterday I was holding that helpless little bundle and imagining what might lie ahead for Lauren in her life. I have to say those years have flown by and what a fantastic experience has been watching and helping Lauren blossom from that gorgeous baby daughter into the beautiful woman I had the honour of walking down the aisle today. Over those years we've shared some amazing experiences and I treasure the time I get to spend with her. Although I must apologise for dragging around all those military museums <laughs> on our special father-daughter trips. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure secretly they're not so special for her. <laughs> However, on the plus side, for a young woman, she probably now has an above average knowledge of fighter jets. <laughs> it's coming useful for a pub quiz one day. <laughs> Lauren, you've worked incredibly hard and achieved such a lot in your life so far. 
Now, I have no doubt there will be many more great things to come, but I just want to say that both your mum and I are so proud of you and wish you and Tom all the happiness in the world as you embark on this adventure of your life together. And now, as you begin that new life together, there will be another man that you turn to for love and protection. But I want you to know that your dad loves you. My dad, who walked me down the aisle, my hero, <laughs> um, and my mum, who is so beautiful today, and literally the strongest woman I know. But such, we're both such like an inspiration, and you've shown me what a happy marriage is and how to love somebody. And I hope that we're as happy in our marriage as you guys are. So I'll be, I'll be really happy if we are. Life will be the dream. There's the cake Sarah bought, and that's the Holbrook sword. We're gonna get a picture of the Holbrook clan holding the sword. Okay, we're doing it. You just have to put it in. <laughs> hey! Uh, so 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 you can't, can't see the room so cramped, so we're just enjoying. And drinks here. So we got dropped off at the train station now. Just went to Shell Station to grab some beverages for the train ride home. And I had to hang a hang a hang a leak. But the toilets had this weird contraption. It was like a string. And I thought it was an old traditional toilet. So I gave the string a pull after I finished. And all of a sudden this alarm started going up. Turns out I'd rung the handicap assistance alarm and there was a separate lever for the toilet. Why do you have to make your toilet so confusing? Time out. They have a driving kebab stand right here at the station. I thought that was kind of weird. I'm kind of full from the wedding, so I'm not gonna partake, but I just thought I'd show it to you. Just making it down the stairs, just in time for our train. We were apparently on the other side of the tracks, about to hit a town called Basingstoke. Thankfully, my brother realized his mistake. My brother didn't want to sit with me. I'm an embarrassing brother, so I'm gonna just be watching some television shows for about an hour. We gotta Uber it from there. To our apartment, quick sleep, and off to Scotland tomorrow. Late bus instead of Uber. We made it. Save us some money. <laughs>